Dichotomous keys are something you'll find yourself using a lot in biology. A good example of how they're used is maybe you're looking at a picture of an organism and you want to find out what it is. Keys help you to identify a species. Here's an example of how a key might work. You're given four different organisms and you want to identify what the name of each one is. We've got an answer grid here, we just want to write the type of bird for A, B, C and D. The key looks something like this. It does look complicated, but it's actually really simple to use. Let's start by trying to identify organism A. We start at part one and we say it has yellow feathers or no yellow feathers. If it has yellow feathers, we can see that it's called a weaver. In this case, that's not true. I would say no yellow feathers. So we go to two. Part two states the beak is red. If it is, we go to three. If the beak is gray, we know it's called a babbler. In this case, I think the beak is red for bird A, so we move on to three. If the beak is straight, we can identify this as a kingfisher. If it's curved, we identify it as a hornbill. You can clearly see in photograph A that the bird has a very curved beak, so we write hornbill for A. We've identified the first one. We can continue like this for the rest of them. If we want to identify B, we can look at part one and say it has no yellow feathers, so we go to two. Does it have a red beak? Yes, it does, so we go to three. Is that beak straight? Yes, so it's a kingfisher. If we go on to C, does it have yellow feathers? Well, this one's the easiest one to identify because yes, it does have yellow feathers, so it's called a weaver. If we look at part D, does it have yellow feathers? No. Does it have a red beak? No. Does it have a gray beak? Yes, so we know this one's a babbler. There is another way that these keys can be laid out. It's just a question of using arrows and answering with yes or no statements. Let's use organism B as an example of how to use this type of key. We start at the top, has yellow feathers. Well, organism B does not have yellow feathers, so we follow the no arrow. Does it have a red beak? Yes, we follow down the yes arrow. Is that beak curved? No, it's actually straight. So we follow down the no arrow and we arrive at Kingfisher. We've identified it the same way we did in the first exercise. It's just a slightly different method of using the same tool.